Lazarus? Yes. Who is this? It's me, Ludmilla. Listen, you have to come home. Ludmilla? What happened? It's Mom. She... She's dead. What? What the hell are you talking about? She changed herself. God damn it. Are you telling me the truth? You think I lie about such a thing? She's dead as Lazarus. She's hanging by a rope in the closet. Oh my God. I'm so scared. It's dark and raining and... And I'm all by myself. What do I do? What do you do? Why the hell did you call me in the first place? Call the damn police or an ambulance. Please tell me you'll come home. I can't come home right now. What? What the hell do you mean? You have to come home. Our mother is dead and you just... Listen, I can't. Not now. I have a job and it's not the sort of thing I can walk away from. The hell is with your job? You left me and mom just as father did. You're a selfish bastard. Listen... If I could, I would come right away, but I really can't. I'll be home by Christmas, okay? No, it's not okay at all. You have to come at once. I can't wait that long. I'm all by myself here. Why can't you understand? I'm sorry. Right. This old place I left when I turned 16. I didn't miss it. Why the hell didn't I just come to the funeral? That last job was a mess. And now, I need to lay low for a while. I hope at least my sister will forgive me. I should have brought some flowers. She must be expecting me. Aside from going to work, she never leaves the apartment. Ludmila, I'm home. This is the place where my mother took her life. Hmm, I might need this later. It's locked. Often called a dictator, the new president has won the people's vote of confidence through unprecedented measures. In his latest speech, he announced the increase of the minimum wage by 70%. For millions of people, the Christmas celebrations turn to feasts as the increased income brings a complete life change for them. The measure has also put an end to the protests organized by the opposition, who are still outraged by another decision by the president. Closing the borders. As you may know, the decision was taken earlier this month, and as a consequence, no one... I'm at the cemetery. I'll be home soon, Ludmilla. Isn't it a bit too late for that? Quite a lot of pills. Mom had a disturbing addiction to painkillers. Ludmilla should have thrown them away. This was my father's typewriter. After he left us, our mother started writing weird religious poems and giving them to the neighbors. It made us look like a family of fanatics.
damn it. I should find a new light bulb. sister, Ludmilla. How on earth can you eat this thing? It looks like it's stood here for days. The stench is overwhelming. What the hell, Ludmilla? Hello? Lazarus? You finally arrived. Yes, a few moments ago. I thought you'd be home. Where are you? I'm beside her mother. Are you still at the cemetery? You should hurry up and catch a bus or else... Listen, I brought you money. Enough to start a new life somewhere else. I want you to know that I am very sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I have forgiven you already, Lazarus. We all make mistakes from time to time. I have my own sense. Oh, thank you. Listen, you should hurry up. It's cold and dark already. By the way, where are you calling from? Ludmilla? Are you still there? Hello? My sister seems to be lazier than me. Father Abraham, all right? Hmm, it's locked, but I see a dim light coming from inside.
What the hell was that? cracks on this wall, and a foul stench is coming from behind. This is madness. She even locked the bathroom door. What the hell is this thing? Losing my mind? What the devil was that? I should call the police right away. Hello, what's your emergency? You need to send someone. There's a creature in my bathroom. A hideous monster. Something like... Sir, please calm down and try to speak louder. I can't speak louder. The thing is right next to me. Just behind the door, there's a horrible thing there. The earthquake must have caused it to come out. It's sticking out of the toilet, and there's there's black stuff smeared on the walls. Please send someone. Okay, I'm going to ask you to calm down and back away from the door. Try to arm yourself with a knife if possible. Are you kidding? It's a bloody monster. How would a knife help me? Damn you, just send someone. Oh God, it's happening again. Please calm down. You are not the only emergency. There are reports from all over the city about abnormal activities and strange occurrences. You are not our first priority. No, no! Damn you! Open this damned door! No! I must be hallucinating. This is rather disturbing. I'm not staying here any longer. I'm going after Ludmila, at the cemetery. And then we'll go straight to a motel. To hell with this damned place. I left the apartment immediately. I drove on the muddy roads towards the Kalima region, where my mother was buried. I was overwhelmed by an unexplainable rush of anxiety, fearing for my sister's safety. The decision to close the country's borders has sparked controversy, especially among ordinary people. The fact that only rich citizens with political connections seem to have access to documents that would allow them to leave the country at any time has enraged the public opinion. 
For those less fortunate, it seems the only way to obtain the needed papers is through illegal means, for large sums of money paid to unscrupulous profiteers who know the right pockets to grease. Concerns have been expressed by many that such restrictions imposed by the new Wait government a second. are a That's the bus that should have brought Ludmilla home. Oh god. There were burnt corpses inside, unrecognizable. My god, Ludmilla, are you still alive? What on earth happened to this place? Looks like a generator that is connected to the tank. It doesn't seem to work, though. This is legit war. strange. Can you hear me? What the hell happened here? Listen, can you hear me? Have you seen a young girl near the cemetery? They have slaughtered us. We must sink that cursed battlecruiser. What? Listen, I can't... There's a terminal down there that will remotely control this tank. Go and activate it! I cannot get involved in this. Listen, you selfish idiot. 
That girl is probably dead if she was caught in the crossfire. But something far more terrible is afoot. A demented maniac is on a rampage of slaughtering innocent people. If you sink the cruiser, we may all still have a chance to live. Do something good while there's still time. I don't want to carry it around without a reason. Is anyone there? It's me, the soldier on the beach. Right. I'm down in some shelter. Good job. Seems you still have a heart. Bastards. They told us we were coming here to free the monks. But when we got here, they ordered us to kill them all. How could we? But there isn't much time left. See that terminal beside you? It controls the tank you've seen on the beach. I see it. There must be a way to connect to the tank. There's a password somewhere. One of the dead soldiers had it. Maybe he wrote it on one of his notes. When you find it, type it in the terminal and follow the instructions. I understand. But listen, why would anyone do such a thing? What? I can't hear you. They're probably listening to our conversation. Just hurry up. Damn it. Right. Now, it's not a good idea to remain here in the open. Destroy that damn cruiser! Is this even working? Are you still alive? You've done it! The cruiser is sinking! Great job! It must have been an hour since the explosion. I woke up and tried to find a way out. My knees were shaking. Outside, desolation filled the air. I wasn't sure anymore if that was snow around me or was it ashes. I managed to escape to my car, but Ludmilla was nowhere to be found. I barely made it home alive. My back hurts like hell. It is not true, alright? They are trying to lure you into believing this nonsensical conspiracy. They are fanatics. Who in their right mind would believe that in this day and age someone would want to exterminate the community of defenseless monks? Seriously, there is scientific proof that in the Colima region there are surges of methane gas leaking from the ground almost each year. The huge explosions were caused by the gas suddenly catching fire, not because of a military action. I know that some would like to believe that an Orwellian society is upon us, 
But that is simply not the truth. What the hell? So they're trying to cover it up? And I almost got myself killed out there. I'm not even sure if what I did was, after all, the right thing to do. And I have no idea how to find Ludmilla or if something happened to her. It's an abnormal amount of... Looks like the old factory has been reopened. Damn it. All these pills must have interfered with my sister's mental health. had something mysterious in her eyes. Why do all the doors need to be locked in this house? No, this is Lazarus. I'm her brother. Mr. Lazarus? Oh, thank God you answered. My name is Laura. I'm a journalist at the local newspaper. But don't worry, I didn't call to ask any uncomfortable questions. That's good to know. And why did you call? You see, I'm a friend of your sister's. We got close after your mother's death, but I haven't been able to get a hold of her for a while now. What do you mean? She hasn't been answering the phone. I came to her apartment the other day and found the entrance door open. I entered, but there was no sign of her. Only the living room was open. The rest of the apartment was locked up. Is she with you now? No. I talked to her on the phone a few hours ago. She said she was at the cemetery. What? That makes no sense. Why would she go to the cemetery at this hour? It's outside the city, plus the whole place was turned upside down by General Dotov. Listen, Mr. Lazarus. I'll drop by to discuss this right away. We need to find out what happened to her. Let's hope I can trust her. You don't seem to care that much about all this, do you? This damn... those things coming from? Damn it! I'm stuck in this place! Ludmilla? I didn't know you were home. Oh, God. I was afraid I lost you. Help! Help! Lazarus, help! Stay calm. We need to get to the closest... No! Oh, God! What on earth is that? Ah! Uh, what the devil? Oh, my God! 
Stay back. Just look away. I don't have a tape. Our neighbors from above, Martha and her daughter Ludmila, are still pursuing hostile activity against the country. With the equipment you provided, we managed to extract information about their actions during the last four months. We are absolutely sure that the two of them donated an important sum of money to the Orthodox parish, led by Father Abraham, for the construction of the new cathedral. What also, the hell is this? You that in the intercepted telephone calls, Martha had discussions with the priest in which she denigrated the Romanian state and the new political regime. We suggest that drastic measures be taken immediately on these enemies of the state. I don't have a tape. Hmm. The corpses seem fresh. They must have died not long ago. This is deeply disturbing. What could have caused such an amount of blood? <coughs> what the hell? Oh my god! What is that? This is getting out of control! Go and call the police! coming years, this industry will explode, but it is not enough just to film boring and predictable scenes with actors paid with a lot of money. We must innovate. We must be the pioneers of a new type of art. An obscene and scandalous form of art, secretly filmed, conditioning the so-called actors. Confused? Let me explain. What do we produce? Erotic movies. Who are the actors? Simple people who have no idea of our intentions. How much do we pay them? Almost nothing. We just promise them various favors. How do we film? This is where things get interesting. We secretly videotape them. Our most successful production is the one with our neighbor from above, whom we've been spying on for a while now. Oh, she's so naive. Or Ludmila. She had no idea what she was getting herself involved in. We had placed surveillance throughout her apartment. I must admit that she was one of the best girls I have ever worked with. So full of surprises. So desperate to get what she wants. Who knows? Perhaps I'll even keep my word and give her what I've promised. Or not. Ludmila!
Ludmilla, are you in there? Listen, you're not safe. It doesn't matter anymore. Why do you care? You've been away for years. Just open the door. Ludmilla, we have to leave. Leave me alone! God damn you, crazy girl! If you don't come out, I'll break down the door. Careful, Mr. Lazarus. My friends from the police department know I'm here. You don't want to do anything stupid. This is crazy. Who the hell are you and how did you get in? Language, Mr. Lazarus. We talked on the phone. Now, open the door and show us all what you've done. No. No. This is not possible. I just talked to her a few moments ago. No. No. You heard her too, didn't you? Yes. But for the moment, let's keep our minds clear and examine the situation. I met Ludmila a while ago when I offered to do some investigations on Martha's death. I reported on her suicide, but there were some things that didn't add up. Hello? Good evening. This is Father Abraham Marcus. May I speak to Miss Ludmila? I'm her brother, Lazarus. Unfortunately, Ludmila is... She's dead, Father. God have mercy. I've had this feeling of uneasiness ever since your mother passed away. We need to talk in person. Phones are not safe anymore. I'll come by the apartment. Thank you for being here, Father. What a hideous murder. As much as I hate it, I must confess to you that this place bears deep and old wounds. I've known your family for years, and I've learned a lot of things in time. But most of them were told to me during confession. As a priest, I took an oath not to divulge such secrets. It's fine. Your presence here brings us a bit of comfort, and that's enough for now. Take your time, and gather your thoughts, Mr. Lazarus. In the meantime, I'll read some prayers for the departed. The 
level of brutality is inhuman. Makes me think of your mother. If you would have been there, you would have seen it. There were clear signs of violence on her body. I'm not watching this. Why would my sister get involved with these deranged people? Did they murder her? Part of the sink was chipped off. Her head seems to have been smashed against it. We have to be strong, Mr. Lazarus. Your sister never believed that your mother hanged herself. She simply refused to. We were on a mission to find the truth together. We need to find more about your family's past and your long-estranged father may be key to this. Lumila had plans to visit the Rosanal Monastery. She had information from Father Abraham that your father may live there, but I'm not going. Not with all the social turmoil in this country. I'll go. Will you stay and watch over her body? I should talk to Father Abraham to bless this place. I'll leave for Ross now tomorrow morning to look for my father. A wise idea. Your father served his apprenticeship at that monastery for almost eight years. I'm not sure he's still there, though. Try to look for a small chapel not far from the church. He used to pray there often. Perhaps at least you'll find some clues about him. God bless you, Mr. Lazarus. I left toward the Rosanau Monastery early in the morning. I couldn't help but picture myself meeting my father after all those years. How I'd need to tell him that his wife and daughter had passed away. When I arrived at the monastery grounds, I left my car behind and decided to take a walk. I'm still unable to grasp that my sister is dead, but this fresh mountain air makes me feel oddly comfortable. I really hope I can find some clues about my father here. Never thought I'd set foot in such a place, but I have to continue my sister's journey. It's the least I can do. Looking back now, I abandoned her when she needed me most. I was a selfish idiot. Just see a ghost? He was brutally murdered. There's something deeply disturbing about this place.
Hello, my friend. You look familiar. Yes, we met in the Kalima region. Yes, we've destroyed the battleship. Unfortunately, General Zotuf wasn't aboard. So, this isn't over yet. What do you mean? Do you know how to play guitar? No. It is the only thing that brings me comfort these days. Listen, what's going on? What happened here? There are corpses all over the place. It's called war. War against humanity. I followed General Zotov's trail from Kalima and ended up here. It seems his soldiers were dispatched here a while ago. They forced all the monks to dig their own graves before shooting them in the back of the head. Executions, like in the times of the Soviet Revolution. They hanged the monastery elder and took pictures of him as a trophy. When I got here last night, they were drunkenly celebrating their foul deeds. Unlucky for them. What do you mean? I killed them all. Bastards. Their minds have been poisoned by Zotov's promises of freedom and riches. Promises of a country like no other under the sun. But his days are numbered too. Can you talk? That wound in your chest looks serious. You need help. We must get you to a hospital. Yeah, if you say so. <clears throat> With that madman over there, we won't be able to go anywhere. <clears throat> that sick maniac stabbed me. He left me to bleed out here like a pig. I'll look for something to patch that wound. Hold on. Could you find something for the pain too? It's too much. still weak, but at least I can try to fight back now. Listen, you have to find me a gun. I know it sounds rather grim, but we have to take down that Dementon murderer. Are you sure you can use a gun right now? It's him or us. Unless you're willing to shoot him yourself. I don't have a choice. Find me a gun. This feels like a bad idea. How do I know that you won't kill me, too?
Jesus! Why did you kill him? Because for a moment, it looked like you'd be dumb enough to give him a weapon. But I'm a forgivable person. Now, take his fancy equipment. Listen, I don't know what you're up to, but don't include me. Like it or not, we are now in this together. You destroyed that cruiser, remember? You're up to your neck in all of this. And whatever you came here to do, you need me. Damn you. I'm already damned. Now, search the body and watch your step. Don't try anything stupid. It's a trap! This thing is rigged! Oh god. No. No! Hmm, strange. Right, we must keep quiet from now on. We are not alone. There's a huge operation in this area. Really? I can't see anything. Quiet! We must put an end to it. The army of General Zotov is close to us. They're digging for gold. Huge amounts. They killed all the monks and peasants in the area and brought hideous creatures with four arms. What? You must help me stop this. We have to kill them. Absolutely not. We have to. After all you've seen, you still doubt what I'm saying? God damn it, believe me, I'm not crazy. What the hell was that? This is truly fascinating. This place resembles some kind of laboratory. If I were to believe Father Abraham, Dad used to pray here.
It must have been written by my father. Hmm, what am I missing? It doesn't work for now. Something is missing here. I need to make sense of all this. I need something to make this work. Is this gold? No wonder General Zotov was interested in this place. There it is. You see? Monsters with four arms. Listen, I'm gonna wait here. You go and see what the hell is going on. The regime is obsessed with gold. They call it redistribution of wealth or something like that. Try to disrupt this hideous operation. If possible, kill all of them. I'm not going to kill anyone, all right? I should take a look around before messing with this thing. Nobody here that we could kill, that's for sure. It seems that whoever was here has already left. What remains of the extraction is run mostly by machines. They're not machines. They're demons in the service of the devil. There's some kind of generator at the bottom of the line. It seems to be providing energy to the drones.
I saw you. I saw you earlier in the forest. She looks like she's sleeping. I admit that all of this seems eerie, but strangely, it doesn't inspire fear in me. air is filled with a strange, otherworldly energy. I don't know how to explain it, but I've never seen such a thing. I've always considered the supernatural the product of a vivid imagination, but here I am. Am I starting to believe? While Dad surrounded himself with the beautiful and the divine, Mom and Ludmila succumbed in sadness and frustration. But it is such a relief to discover this unknown side of his life. At least he found peace. Stabilize the energy core. It's overcharging. Let's get the hell out of here. This thing is going to explode. I barely managed to make it to the ruins of the old church. And like the other encounter with this strange man, it didn't end well. At least, for him. I left him there 
unconscious and covered in ash as I rushed to my car. I didn't want to be a part of his crazy agenda for a third time. I left without many answers, but half happy to have at least found mentions of my father. What am I doing here? What is it with this family that keeps drawing me towards them? Ever since I reported on Martha's death, I can't keep away. A feeling of dread keeps growing in me each day, yet I can't resist their lure. I hate this fear and helplessness. It reminds me of when I was a girl. Of him. But I don't want to think about any of that. I tried so hard to forget. Laura? No, Mr. Lazarus. I didn't expect you'd be back so soon. I was trying to clean this place up a bit, but this infestation is too much for me. Oh, God, this place reeks. Uh, please, can you open the windows? Strange. Right now, I would love to go to church. You know, I didn't find out much about my father, but at least I know that he was there and was a good man. That is good, Mr. Lazarus. Listen, your sister is now at the funeral home. They're going to prepare her body. We can hold the funeral this Friday, if that's okay with you. I don't like these disgusting creatures in my house. I have to improvise something. I don't care if they're offensive or not, I'll burn them down. This is all going to hell. This infestation, Ludmila's death, this war that keeps drawing closer and closer. Good evening, Father. Thank you for blessing the house. I don't know if it's your prayers or the incense, but this room hasn't been infested like the others. Prayers will be of little help, unfortunately. We are yet to witness how being abandoned by God feels like. But tell me, have you found anything about Vladimir at the Rosino Monastery? Unfortunately, I didn't find my father, but I did find mentions of him. God. I don't even know if he's still alive. This General Zotov is a demented maniac who kills everyone if he so desires. They're collecting gold. Yes. He is foolishly starving for more power. With gold, he will buy the weak, the easily impressionable. His evil will spread. All we can do now is not let it corrupt us too, Mr. Lazarus. I'm certain we are not close enough to offer each other such gifts.
Hopefully this is going to work and I don't blow myself up. Doesn't look like my best idea. Mr. Lazarus? Mr. Lazarus, come quickly! The infestation that blocked the door earlier is now gone. And I heard someone inside, Mr. Lazarus. Someone is still alive. Again, a locked door. Ugh, just break it! Hello, young man. Oh, uh, hi. What are you doing here? I'm just hiding, waiting for this to end. Are you friends with my father? Yes, indeed. Oh, cool. I was waiting for my parents to come rescue me. These foul creatures blocked the doorway and I couldn't escape. Your parents are dead. What? No. How could that happen? I can't believe it! Do you have any relatives to go to? No, it was just me, Mom and Dad. I've been here for almost a week. I'm waiting for my girlfriend to call me. We were planning to leave together. Listen, stay here while I try to figure out what the hell happened, alright? Ladies and gentlemen, we've received reports of countless deaths from all around the city. As you know, many TV stations have tried to deny the first rumors about a possible infestation. What's even more frightening is that this infestation seems to be spreading over the entire country with the epicenter right here. Why would she accept being photographed like this? Control. The president task. It's a poster with my sister. overwhelmed by rage. It's like a black veil covering my eyes and all I want is their blood. When I confronted my father about the tape, he just laughed at me. He told me my girlfriend was a nice piece of ass. That he did what I was too soft to do myself. That's what a man does. Mom didn't even flinch. She was proud of her wretched husband. She told me that you have to be ruthless if you want to get ahead in this life. I'll show them. I'll show them that I can be even more ruthless than them. I'm going to take the hydrochloric acid from the bathroom and throw it in their faces as their eyes will burn and they will scream in pain. I'll crush their skulls with a wrench and then I will spit on their lifeless bodies.
That was a really messed up recording in, man. It's just a recording. I like to write horror stories and record them, just for fun. Is that so? I swear, it's fiction. It's fiction, huh? Is that why your parents are dead in the living room just as you described in your tape? Mr. Lazarus, I think you should see this right now. It's a bunch of disgusting CDs. What the hell is this? the sort of girl you were all along? Just a whore. The kind my father usually makes his movies with. What? What do you mean? How can you say such words? I found the tape. I saw you with my father. Of all the men you could have slept with, why my disgusting father? Wait, you don't understand. It's not like that. I saw you. I know. I'm sorry. But I only did that for the papers. I know you don't believe me, but I've told you so many times I needed those damn papers. I have to leave. And you kept dragging me on and on. What choice did I have? What choice? You're so stupid, they would have never given you the papers. All my father wanted was to film you and trick you so that you would have ended up in Serbia as a prostitute. How could you even think to trust him? I'm sorry, Shivko. Please. No, this doesn't end like this. You'll pay. All of you. No, don't talk like that. To hell with you, filthy whore. You just wait, I'll show you. You have to be kidding. He did it. He killed Ludmilla. Mr. Lazarus, hold your horses. That recording is suspicious, but it doesn't confirm anything. Oh, it confirms. It confirms he's a murderer. Have you seen how he stood there and shamelessly lied to us? He said that it was fiction, yet his parents' bodies are just there. I'm going to kill him. Maybe, but try to understand. Perhaps there is more to this story than it seems. There are things that don't add up here. Don't be in a rush to sentence him. I don't give a damn. Ludmilla had her whole life ahead of her. Every dream she had, every hope in life vanished. I worked so hard. I did unspeakable things. I didn't even come to my mother's funeral. All to make money and help my sister leave this hellhole. Only for her to have her skull crushed by that freak. I'll kill that demented maniac. Do not become a monster yourself, Lazarus. You'd better not stand in my way. I'm going to have an intimate discussion with that poor excuse of a man. You sick fuck! You murdered my Ludmilla. I'll crush your skull just like you did to her. You're lucky. I could have killed you, but I'm not a murderer. A 
Although I came really close this time. Ludmila, please don't hang up. What do you want? You want to belittle me even more? No, I'm sorry for how I acted. I was enraged by jealousy, the image of you and my father. Look, I told you I'm sorry. I can't undo it. Maybe you were right and I was foolish and gullible, but I can't do anything about it now. In fact, I have no idea what to do at all. I can help you. Listen, I managed to steal the papers from my parents. Don't ask me how. Really? You mean that? Yes, my love. We could leave tonight if you want. I, I want to come with you wherever you go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. But what about your parents? Won't they try to find us? To hell with them. Don't worry about them anymore. But Shivko, can you really forgive me for what I've done? Do you think we can ever find peace together? We all make stupid mistakes. And we can all do unspeakable things under the wrong circumstances. Wait, there's someone at the door. Meet me in three hours at the church and bring the papers. I'm going to light a candle at my mother's grave one last time. I'll meet you after I come back from the cemetery. You have to be kidding. If he didn't kill Ludmilla, then who the hell did? Hello? Lazarus? Laura? Why did you leave? I didn't want to witness what you were about to do. I'm sorry I scared you, but the freak is fine. I'm not a murderer after all. You were right. He didn't kill Ludmilla. Someone else did. I found a recording in which the boy talked with my sister about them leaving this place together. While he did kill his parents, he really seemed to love her. They planned to meet after Ludmilla would have returned from the cemetery. That was one week ago. But then someone knocked at the door. The murderer? Yes. This is all becoming too much, Lazarus. Maybe we should just stop and leave this place ourselves after Ludmilla's funeral. I can't do that. I have to find out what happened to her. I have a bad feeling about all of this. It's like a suffocating darkness surrounds us with every passing hour. But if you choose to stay, I'll be by your side until the end of it. I would like to talk to you in person, though, before the funeral. Could we meet somewhere? I have something to confess to you. Listen, if you have something to tell me, you know where to find me. Lazarus, please. <laughs> Oh my god! No, please! Wake up! Help! Help! Father, I saw her! Am I going crazy? It's not her. It is the evil spirit that dwells in this house. It can take many forms, especially now that her death was so brutal. Don't let fear and guilt overtake you, my son. Let the love for your sister shield your heart. Near the old orphanage, there's a very beautiful church that was also abandoned in 87. Thousands of pilgrims came from all around the country to pray, but it was closed after the fire. Why? After Rosanna, you served as a teacher at a really old orphanage near Bran. The orphanage was founded by the Romanian Orthodox Church, but it burned in 87. I wonder what happened. I'm alone. Mom? She's dead. Lazarus. He left me alone when I needed him most. Dad, where are you? Father Abraham told me that you may have left a while ago to Ukraine. I'll come find you. But first, I want to learn more about the life you led. 
Father Abraham told me that you served your apprenticeship at the Rosenau Monastery. I want to visit the place where you became closer to God. The monastery where you became a monk. I'll ask the monks about you. Before we meet, I want to know everything. Mom wanted to be buried near this monastery, thinking that this way she'll be closer to you. Near the old or- You didn't make it. That night, you were murdered. I'm sorry, Ludmila, but I'll continue your journey. Will there be an end to all of this? The orphanage near the Bran village. That place holds many secrets. Near the river, you'll see some ruins of an old church. But be careful. Your experience there will be eye-opening. You may not like what you'll see there. You'll either strengthen your faith in God, or lose it forever. I left towards the Bran orphanage to continue the search for my father. My mind kept going over all I had found out about my sister, of how little I knew about her life. I always thought of her as the little kid who stayed behind when I left home. But people don't freeze in time just because you stop being by their side. I wasn't expecting the sight with which I was greeted upon my arrival here. This is... weird. It's December, but... Look at all the flowers. There's something unnatural about this place. Despite the green forest, the bitter cold is piercing my body. I've been told that this place was once a private school where gifted children would learn about the mysteries of the universe under the guidance of the monastery monks. Hello? Are you alone here? Don't be afraid. You are safe here. It's not working. It needs power. This place was my home for years. Now, I am the one who keeps it looking the way it does. You don't want to see its real face. It's wounded, scarred, and vile. You look exactly like him. Like your father. Really? Did you know him? Yes, but remembering him is painful. I do not want to let that darkness spoil my beautiful memory of this place. What does that mean? I have a bad feeling about this.
I should look around for what's missing. Hmm, a blueprint for some strange machine. need something to make this work. Reminds me of the machines I've seen around the gold mine I just visited. Let's see. I have no idea what purpose it serves. Within your soul. What do you mean? Sadness, loss, hopelessness. I sense the spirit of a young woman around you. Was she close to you? Are you talking about my sister? She was murdered.
For many years, chosen children studied the mystical arts here. We read dusty old manuscripts, tomes full of forgotten wisdom. One day, the monks taught us how to create this reliquary. Dark memories of this place are contained within it. I had hoped never to relive them. If this is about my father, I have to know. As it is, you are right. But be careful. You should fear these memories as much as I do. I should look around for what's missing. It doesn't work for now. This object levitates and seems to be filled with some sort of strange energy. I'd better be careful with this. I've added the four ingredients. I need to make sense of all this. What the hell? What is this? Girl, it won't hurt. 
You just have to accept him as your master. You are already a woman, aren't you? You're crazy. I shouldn't have listened to you. I shouldn't have stayed here over the holidays. My children will master a witch. Want to become a saint? You're not a saint, Laura. He corrupted your mind and took advantage of you. There is nothing holy about that. Please, let's leave this place. Run away from him. Our God. He opened my eyes and now I can see. No, he is possessed. Yeah, I'll kill you if you don't do what he said. I'll rip your heart out and serve it to him. No, no. No one can refuse Father Vladimir. All who will not come by his side will perish. Innocent blood has been shed, and through it I am not baptized. I am no longer Vladimir. I am Shotar. I am above good and evil. Only my will shall be done. I will raise armies, and I will bring my paradise to this world. monster. Is that what became of my father? I had hoped to find a saint, but instead, there are no words to describe what he turned into. I'm sorry. It is a difficult truth to bear. Did my father really become that powerful? Don't let his forked tongue poison your mind. He is way smaller and more insignificant than he imagines. He thinks it's his will when he only plays the devil's games. But the armies he raised, all the death and destruction he brought, how did he manage to do it? The powers the devil gave him would have been useless if people wouldn't have willingly chosen to follow him. They embraced his corruption, and they stepped away from God's path. Ivana, I want this to end now. Father, a monster. Laura, his first disciple. Poor Ivana, their first victim. I'm grateful at least that you never learned all these things, Luna. I know your pain seems unbearable, but you must try to find forgiveness in your heart. There can't be any healing without it. There's not much left for me to do here. After Ludmilla's funeral, I'm leaving this place for good. Perhaps even the country. I've been deceived in all imaginable ways.
What are you doing here? You? What the hell is going on? You nearly killed me. Who are you anyway? You said you're friends with my father. What are you doing in my girlfriend's apartment? Listen, kid. Calm the hell down. Ludmilla was my sister. So you're her brother? Do you know what happened to her? We were supposed to leave together, but I didn't make it to our meeting. Did she leave without me? She left us, kid. I'm sorry to be this blunt, but she's dead. She was murdered. And I thought you did it. What? No! Listen, take some time to collect your thoughts. We've all been through some hell lately. Citizens of this country, hear me. These are the last hours of the wretched regime that has tormented you for years. The freedom that was promised to you was a lie. The president has just resigned, and I will take upon myself the burden to rule this country. Damn it. The end is near. This world will burn. Lazarus? Laura? Thank God. Where have you been? I've been calling dozens of times. Around? Looking? I was worried. I came over and I left you a letter. Did you find it? I wanted to tell you. I started to feel something for you. <laughs> I don't understand it myself, but... I feel like we have a connection, like... Listen, Laura. I've visited an orphanage. It's near the Bran Monastery. Maybe you know it. <sighs> Mr. Lazarus. Yeah, it's Mr. Lazarus. Who the hell are you, Laura? You feel something for me? We've only met a couple of days ago. Are you delusional? You know nothing about me, and all I know about you is that you're a murderer, and you let yourself be corrupted by my father. I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive me? I was stupid. I was young, and he had this power. I tried as much as I could to resist, but... Did you know all this time that Zotov was my father? What? No, I swear. I just wanted to help. I had no idea. I told you how I met Ludmila. And then you came along, and I felt this compulsion to stay by your side. I never knew you were Vladimir's children. I never knew he had a family. After I did that horrible thing, he abandoned me. It took me so long to get over what I did. To have a semblance of a normal life. What kind of cruel god would pull me back into Vladimir's life? Okay, stop. I can't listen to this anymore. I have to hang up. This woman is clearly disturbed. I can't believe anything she says anymore. We have a connection? <laughs> yeah, right. Citizens, hear me, my children. Stay in your homes, but do not fear me. Tonight, the revolution will change the face of this country. A soft revolution without bloodshed. This war is led by machines. A new dawn arises. Consciousness. The machines will get rid of them. Tomorrow, 
You'll step into paradise. What a great time to be alive, to witness the birth of- Once I leave this place, I'll never come back. I should take that decrepit cat with me. I can't leave him here alone to die. I gotta find something to put you in. and sadness overwhelmed me. Just a week before Mom died, I fell unconscious in the middle of the street. I woke up later hospitalized in a psychiatric ward. The doctors were worried about my health, but Mom insisted I was fine and that God would help us. I don't know what to think anymore. I started taking her pills behind her back, and now the house is spinning around me. I want you to understand one thing, my dear brother. None of us are innocent me least of all. The few days we spend together when you come home on holidays are not enough for you to realize what lies in our souls. You probably think I'm a saint. Oh, Lazarus. If you knew what a mess I've gotten myself into to get those papers so I could leave for Ukraine. I want to go far, far away. I want to end this horrible story. I want to have my own life. Mom... Citizens, hear me, my children. Stay in your homes, but do not fear me. Tonight, the revolution will change the face of this country. journey ended before it even began.
citizens of this country, hear me. These are the last hours of the wretched regime that has tormented you for years. The freedom that was promised to you was a lie. The president... I'm leaving for the funeral, kid. Come with me if you want. I headed toward the Varones Monastery. I wanted to pray for Ludmila and for this country, even though I felt like everything was in vain. We stayed away from the main roads to avoid my father's hideous machines. This new world of his is only death and ruin. After we got out of the city, things quieted down. We arrived at the monastery, but we found it closed. The party had sequestered it, but fortunately it was spared from the flames, at least for now. Here we are, Mr. Lazarus. Unfortunately. I've spoken at the funeral home and with the priest to have a beautiful service for Vanilla. I'm waiting for Father Abraham to come and open the chapel. God, these blooming flowers in December make me feel nervous. I admit, they are strange. The Bran Orphanage was overgrown with them, but I think of them as a miracle. Anyway, I'll go to the chapel and wait for Father Abraham there. Mr. Lazarus, regarding what we talked about on the phone, you were right. You barely know me, and I'm the only one who should carry the weight of my sins. I just wanted you to know I regret the things I did. I don't pretend to understand what you've been through, but I can understand your regret. I have the burden of my own sins. For now, I just want to ask forgiveness for my sister. This car is packed with guns and ammo. It seems we are not alone. Filled with grief and shame. If I would have just come to Mother's funeral, things would have been different now. We dreamed of living together, of having kids one day, but now, now she's lying in that cursed wooden box. Forever. I need to wait for the priest. This key doesn't fit. Someone tried to enter the chapel. I brought you thousands of flowers for your sister. I couldn't bear to leave you alone in this darkest of hours. Be 
so this would be her resting place. If only I'd come home a week earlier. I can't know if things would have worked out better. Don't look for answers just in this world. In such dark times, we must remember that God is our shepherd. What do you mean? Despite all the evil and wrongdoing of humanity, God doesn't want his children to perish. His love is overwhelming and everlasting. I don't understand his overwhelming love. I'm not sure God cares at all. This is your cross to bear. But for this struggle of yours, I brought you a precious gift. You'll need it before this ends. This car again. Digger's body has been reduced to a pile of gore. They never believed me. Back in the days when I was a priest, I tried to warn them. Our freedom is illusory, fragile. Like a wafting leaf in the wind. I prayed that this day would never come if they banished me. But I am prepared. When the Antichrist comes, I'll proceed as written in the forbidden teachings of the Holy Fathers. The Antichrist? This is disturbing. It's the least I can do. May Saint Ivana bring peace to this poor man's soul. This man had dedicated his life to God. He was ready to face this apocalypse, but his life was taken before he could complete his work. I don't know what to do with this. I'll just leave it here. Looks like something should be placed here. I should look around for what something is missing here.
It's locked. You? I thought you were dead. Not yet. I escaped death more than once by now. However, I'm not sure I'll make it past midnight. The wretched monster will be here soon. Do you mean Zotov? Who else? Haven't you noticed that this is the only church around that isn't yet burning? But what the hell are you doing here? It's my sister's funeral. It seems Father Abraham has arrived. Listen, can you help me bring her coffin inside the chapel? Image I am of your unutterable glory. Though I bear the scars of my stumblings, O oh, Sovereign Lord, have compassion on me and cleanse me through your loving kindness and the homeland of my heart's desire bestow on me by making me a resident of paradise. My condolences, friend. Listen, I know how you feel. Seeing your family torn apart is painful. I'm by your side. You're not alone. Even the angels are here. Or am I the only one who can see her? Forgive me, Ludmilla. Forgive me for not taking better care of you and mom. Ivana, Laura must be nearby. What if she sees you? She won't. If she saw me, she would be terrified. I don't want to cause her any pain. I've already forgiven her. The abomination is near. We must not let him interrupt the funeral. Bring an incense offering before God. It will keep him at a distance. sense what he was saying. Are you all right? Sorry. I'm not well. I feel afraid. And it is too hot inside. I can barely breathe. I feel like I'm suffocating. It's just some incense. It's supposed to protect us. <clears throat> My throat burns. I'll bring you some water. It's filled with holy water. Well, let's hope this will make her feel better. It's holy water after all. to drink. You want to poison me? It burns like fire. Oh, God. Calm down. It's just water. Listen, just stay outside until you feel better. I'm going back to my sister's funeral. You deceitful wretch. How dare you leave me here? It's cold and raining. This isn't right. Let I'd better find something to block this. Open the door. Uh, open the door. Or tell that disgusting priest to stop praying. Tell 
I've tried, Mr. Lazarus. I tried to resist, but he is too close now. His words are pleasure. I'm his mistress. Only his will shall be done. We are safe for now. What makes you believe you can be safe from me? Father? I've been here all this time. Those fragile doors cannot keep me away. This is how I celebrate my daughter's death. All saints in heaven, heed my calling. Come to my aid. Don't you understand that the world has willingly chosen me as its master? Come and join me. The Father, the Son, and the wretched fruit of all their sins. An unholy trinity. Even in death, he couldn't let her rest. What I wouldn't give for this nightmare to end. <laughs> Look at you. What a deplorable sight. This is the heart of the brave new world. Mankind has easily given up freedom. Its burden was overpowered. Come, my son. Be part of this wonder. together me and you we are the foulest of his sins and we will be the adam and eve of his new paradise this is sick laura he destroyed your life open your eyes he's the devil incarnate no no don't talk like that he is our master we will only know glory by his side he will shield us from all harm and i will be all yours all your fantasies I will make them come true, my love. Laura, snap out of it. Fight his lies. Lazarus, oh God, I can't resist his power. I, I, I want you. Give into the call of my flesh. Let us taste the fruits of pleasure together, for there is nothing sweeter. My body yearns for you. I'll kill anyone supporting General Zotov. I'm so sorry you lost the fight against him. What a 
demented whore. Your father has abandoned his human body and has embraced a new, grotesque form. You cannot stop the coming of the new paradise. Hand me your souls. You must complete the ritual before it's too late. feels imbued with divine energy, but what should I do with it? Pierce Zotov's devilish new form? The dagger is not meant for the wickedest of hearts, but for one that can still be brought to light from their path towards damnation. Will you stop speaking in riddles? has to end. All this suffering breaks my heart. Make it stop. I can't stand the pain anymore. Please. Please help me. Please make it stop. This pitiful hermit suffering fills me with joy. Join me, my son. Let us delight in his agony together. Is this what I must do? Would ending his life be an act of kindness in God's eyes? So be it. God, I put my faith in you to guide my hand. Stop! He's not the only one suffering. There are so many in pain. They must all be saved. What am I supposed to do? I'm lost. You cannot stop me. My new paradise is all that he needed. What can my fool of a son do? Your mother tried to resist me, and I snapped her neck. I smashed my own daughter's skull, but she wouldn't join me. I am death and salvation. I am despair and redemption. A heart that can still be brought to light from its path towards damnation. An act of sacrifice for the good of the many. Nothing can stop me. God has turned his face away from humanity. There is not a single soul still worthy of his love. For greater love has no one than this, than a man lay down his own life for his friends. Lord, hear my prayer. Forgive us for the evil in our hearts. Forgive us for straying from your path. As I return my soul to you, I pray for your mercy on those who remain. I can't believe she's truly gone. 
We've witnessed too many horrible things these past days. Indeed. But for now, things have settled down. It is time to leave behind those atrocities. We humans are frail, but even so, we are capable of great evil. I'm afraid no one will believe my story of what happened in the end. We'll forget, and what we now know as truth will slowly turn into a distant, hazy memory. And then, one day, another General Zodov may rise. Perhaps, but you mustn't only think of the darkness. Live your life, and find the good and beauty in it. You owe it to those who sacrificed themselves. And don't forget, even in the darkest of times, God still works miracles. Moarte, moarte, nemiloasă, o fofo, Tu pe toți scozi în casă, o, de-ar fi tânăr sau bătrân, de-ar fi slugă sau stăpân, mai amară ca ceasul morții nu-i. De-ar fi tânăr sau bătrân, de-ar fi slugă sau stăpân, mai amară ca ceasul morții nu-i. De-ar avea ele tot pământul, o fofo, Tu îi pregătești mormântul, o, De-ar trăi ele cât de bine, să fiu iertat, Mai amară ca ceasul morții nu-i.